Hello and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I have for you a quick masculine birthday card. So let's jump right in. So to start I did cut down a piece, all of my bases. I have uh, my A2 sized base and then I have a black mat that is one eighth of an inch smaller than my base and then I have my panel which is one eighth of an inch smaller than my black mat. And I also have an MFT cloud stencil here and I'm just using tumble glass oxide ink to kind of blend a background to go with my card. So I did actually cut out a image from my Cricut and then realized later that I actually had a die set in my stash that I could have used that I actually f completely forgot that I had. That's one of the problems with my storage system right now, that it's not really... Sometimes I lose things and then forget I have them. I'm going to show it to you here once we get going, but I actually have a die set that would work perfectly for this card. However, I forgot I had it. So I will show you the uh, cutout that I did with my Cricut, uh, just using Cricut Design Space, but there is also a die set that I could have used that would have done a similar card. Not exactly the same, but similar. So I am just going to blend on the clouds in layers um, very delicately because I do kind of fade it out a little as we get down to the bottom of the cards, but I like how it turned out. Actually, I thought that the um, blending on the stencil went really well, um, but tumbled glass is probably one of my favorite oxide colors of any of the uh, Distress Ink line. It's kind of one of my favorites. But yeah, see here, this is the uh, Concord and Ninth. Um, it is the Happy Balloon Dies, and I completely forgot I owned this. So I'm just going to use the tail, because I really wanted a tail for the balloon that I had going on. And this card was kind of spur of the moment. Um, we got to do a trip a few months ago um, to see my husband's family, and this was his dad's birthday card. Um, <clears throat> sadly, the, with COVID and everything, it was the only trip that we did at all, and it was only because um, there was some, some health things going on, but we were there for his birthday, so I really wanted to make him a birthday card, but we were kind of losing time here because I completely, just been a crazy year, and I completely blanked, so I got to use my Cricut to make this card pretty quickly, and I just thought I would share it with you guys because I find I struggle with masculine cards, and you can tell me if you feel like this is actually a masculine card. I think that it is, but some people may disagree We'll see. We'll see what you think as we get in there, but this is my opinion. But so for the balloon, I used uh, Simon Says Stamp Ivory Fog and Island Blue cardstocks to cut out the layers. Ivory is on the bottom uh, with fog in the middle, and then Island Blue is the top layer that I just dabbed a little bit of glue on. And I only did little dabs so that it wouldn't kind of squeeze out as I laid this down on the layer of fog cardstock. Um, and then I did take my reverse tweezers and just wipe a little bit of it off uh, because it did smoosh out a little bit in a few places and I don't like that look. Although it does dry clear so you wouldn't have seen the glue anyway, but that's just my personal preference. And then I am going to stick the fog base down onto the ivory cardstock. And then we are also going to attach it to the panel with the cloud stencil on it and we also have that little kind of tail there uh, so that's what I used for the uh, with the Concord and Ninth um, dies and then here this is the piece that has the eye for the birthday and I just popped the whole piece back in the eye was the eye the tittle it's called was still stuck in the piece of that came out there and I just put it back in and put a little glue on the back of the eye and then stuck it down so it was where it was supposed to be I find that I don't align them very well, so I have a tendency to kind of try to line stuff up with the uh, negative pieces if I can. So then I'm going to kind of play around with the tail a little bit. It takes me a minute to decide what angle I want it to go on, but eventually I'll decide to go this way and then just attach it down. And you're going to see at the end here, I'm going to add some sequins. <clears throat> now you can tell me whether or not you think that me adding sequins would equate a mail card or not. Um, I like how it looks, but I might not, you know, I might be the only person. We'll see. But I added it onto the thing. And then I added sequins, sequins in the end because I didn't like that you could kind of see that weird piece of the tail. If I had been thinking about this a little bit better... I might have lined it up and then trimmed off that little piece that kind of sits on top of the balloon so that it looked like it was going behind the balloon instead of to the top there. And I mean, this is a pretty minute thing. It's not really a big deal. It's not like bad looking. It just, I didn't really like how it looked. So I'm going to fix it, but I'm going to fix it with a sequin because we'd already glued everything down and I couldn't really trim it at that point without kind of ripping up things and I didn't want to do that. 
So I did adhere it down to the black mat and then down to the side fold panel with my Nouveau Deluxe glue because that is my preferred glue. And then here, I, the tail, I wanted to adhere it down to the black mat as well, so I kind of just jimmy rigged some glue underneath there and then I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to hold it down. So here you can see I've got a couple of sequins and I'm going to stick them down. Now you can tell me, hey Sierra, a masculine card doesn't need sequins. And I will tell you that every card needs sequins, in my opinion, or gems, or glitter, or jewels, or, you know, anything shiny. I just like all the shiny things. I'm like a magpie, I guess. But I couldn't resist, and I kind of wanted to hide the tail of how that was looking with um, where the like string attached to the balloon. And this was the best way I could come up with. So these are moon... moon shine sequins moonstone sorry moonstone sequins by simon system and <laughs> and then i decided to add glossy accents inside of my sequins for a little more shine actually it's because they weren't adhering as well as i would like them to for whatever reason and so if you put a little bit of glossy accents inside of the sequin it helps it adhere to the cardstock as well as makes it a little bit shiny or than it was so I did that. And then here I'm just going to hold it up so you can see it. So tell me what you think, guys. Did you think that this is a masculine card? Do you disagree? You think it's not really a masculine card? You let me know. I'd like to know. If you leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you'd like to come back. I post a new video every Monday and kind of randomly through the month as well. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.